And I think Revelation talks a lot about worship. It's it reminding does. us, hey, your heart needs to be postured towards something. Because right. Matt said, I don't care how great you are. Those letters were to seven churches, not yeah. seven pagan communities, That's not right. seven. He was like, listen, you got believers in here. You got church going unbelievers. Sometimes they're the most active. We're not going to talk All about right, that. Say it. But he's, <laughs> okay, the busy ones. Stay busy because they don't have no conviction. But um, <laughs> we're not talking about that. But he's talking about, hey, believers, check your own heart. This is not a story that you get to sit back and watch and observe and talk about. Look how messed up the world is. You're in this thing. Yeah. And you got be careful because your role is still being it's defined mm -hmm. and so don't think that because salvation is secure sanctification is guaranteed you know so you, you've got to work out that thing and so I think it's it's specificity it's his intentionality but it's also a hope for me that reminds me I got to constantly check my heart and who am I really worshiping because yeah. like Matt said the, the, the everything that comes to, against us because Satan is specific too is not going to be unattractive it's yeah, going to be things true. that we want things yeah. that make sense to us things that speak to our pain something that identifies with my cultural pain my religious pain my political it's going to speak to something so yeah. it's not going to be some arbitrary thing you can easily say no to yeah. it's going to be enticing yeah. and if you don't get your heart right and know where you are and where you're susceptible, you're going to find yourself mm. really getting sucked into that.